Welcome to the Greensboro Aquatic Center. When I was in second grade, I came here with my school and I learned to swim. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. But before I even came here, I had to learn a few skills to keep me safe. This is my good friend t -Wiz. He's gonna be your guide as you learn to do your part to be water smart. Hi friends, do you like the pool? What about the beach, lakes, or water parks? The water can be a ton of fun as long as you play it safe. Some of my friends are gonna help you practice water safety so you and your family can stay safe in the waves. Let's go! Hi, I'm Hannah. I bet you've seen a lifeguard before. It's his job to know what's going on in and around the pool area. It's also his job to enforce any rules and policies and to respond to any type of emergency. When you hear that whistle, you should stop, look, and listen. The lifeguard is there to help you stay safe, and it's important to always follow his directions. Lifeguards are trained in first aid, CPR, and water rescues. They are here to help when you need it. Lifeguards carry safety equipment with them on the job. I can use this red tube to help someone who is struggling in the water. From the deck, I can extend and reach to someone in the water. I can also toss the tube while holding this rope so I can pull them to the side. If I need to get in the water to help someone, this tube helps us both stay afloat. Lifeguards also wear a pack. Inside are the tools they need if they need to perform CPR. This equipment is only for emergencies. When you stay cool and follow the rules, you don't need them. Hey friends, my name is Alan and I love swimming. And seeing a lifeguard always makes me feel better about swimming. Of course, not every pool, beach, or lake has a lifeguard on duty. That's when your water safety skills need to be really sharp. The most important rule, never swim alone. Make sure an adult is with you in the water or watching nearby before you make a splash. Even adults should swim with a friend. The second thing to remember, look before you leap. Most pools have numbers painted around the sides of the pool. These numbers tell you how deep the water is. Most safety organizations recommend that water be at least eight feet deep for diving head first. If the water is less than eight feet deep, Jump feet first. If you don't know the depth of the water and you can't see the bottom, always enter the water feet first. And one more thing, before you jump, check the water to make sure nothing or no one is in your way. Finally, remember anyone can get into trouble in the water. You want to think so you don't sink. Look around to see if there is a wall or float nearby that you can grab. Call for help. Try to turn onto your back and float until help arrives. If you use your head, you can stay safe around the water and you can have a ton of fun. Hey friends, swimming can be a lot of fun, but actions do happen. The way you react can be a difference between life and death. If you see a friend struggling in the water, we want you to know you should reach or throw, don't go. A pool noodle is a great tool for reaching out to a friend. You can also toss a float or even a kickboard to a struggling swimmer. Call for help. Remember, there should be a lifeguard or a adult nearby. Let them know there's a problem. Lifeguard, pool is in trouble. I'm on the way. I love riding in a boat. Did you know everyone riding on a boat is required to have a life vest? It's the law. Hi swim friends, I'm Anna. Not only does everyone on a boat have to have a life vest, anyone younger than 13 must be wearing one. A Coast Guard certified life jacket will help you float no matter how deep the water, but a good fit is important. A vest that is too big or too small will not function properly. Make sure zippers are zipped and buckles are buckled. One more thing, don't forget to protect your skin when you swim. Wear a swim shirt and cover up with sunscreen. Then it's time for fun in the sun.
Like sports, when you know how to swim, there are tons of new sports to enjoy. Hi friends, my name is Gage. Swim teams can be a lot of fun. The swimming's great and the friendships are even better. There are also a lot of other aquatic sports that you might enjoy. Divers are amazing athletes, combining strong swimming skills with gymnastics in a high flying show. Some people call water polo the toughest sport in the world. Your team tries to score the most points, treading water the whole time. Whoa! And don't forget about kayaking, paddleboarding, surfing, and even scuba diving. Okay, friends, it's your turn. Let's see if you know what to do in these water situations. Uh-oh, looks like someone isn't listening to the lifeguard. What should this child do instead? That's right. Stop, look, and listen when you hear the whistle. How about this one? Hey guys, watch this. Is it safe for him to dive here? Nope, it's too shallow. He forgot to check the water depth. That's better. Here's a tricky one. It looks like that little boy is in trouble. His friend is close by. Should she jump in to help? Nope, she remembered to reach or throw. Don't go. Way to stay safe, friend. Okay, how about this one? Look at her fly vest. Is that a good fit? Will it keep her safe? Right again. That vest was too big. This one is much better. You are a water safety whiz. Before we say goodbye, I want you to meet one more friend of mine. Hi, Rosemary. Hey, T-Wave. Good to see you. Thanks for teaching our friends about water safety. Great job. But I know you know the best way to stay safe around the water is by learning to swim. In 2011, the Greensboro Aquatic Center partnered with Guilford County Schools to provide free swim lessons to second grade students. Since then, our instructors and volunteers have helped more than 8,000 students learn to swim, and we're just getting started. We want you to learn to swim too. Keep up with the second grade Learn to Swim program and find out about our other programs on our website, GreensboroAquaticCenter.com. We have lesson programs for all ages, all year round. T-Wave, I think I see a swim student coming through the door. I've got to get ready. And I think I see Con Con coming back. I love to watch her swim. See you in the water. Bye. <laughs>